Hello everyone and welcome to this my video on enlargement and similar figures. My name's Darren from Maths Guru. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much for finding this video. Hopefully you're going to find it useful. I have to admit I love creating these videos. Uh, I want to try and make maths as simple as possible and uh, sort of get this out to as many students as I possibly can and teachers of course. So if you can spread the word that would be great. Uh, one of the things I would love you to be able to do if you can is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Why? Uh, because basically it lets me know that someone's been watching. Very few people want to watch maths content and so sitting here recording I get a little bit lonely a little bit sad um, and by you subscribing that click from you at the end of the day when I look and see how many subscribers I've got if it goes up by three I am blown away I'm literally blown away the more people I can try and help the better that's why I'm doing this guys so uh, spread the word if you can um, You'll notice in the little corner here, there is something called mathsguru.com. All these videos are on there and everything I'm about to write on behind me, you can download for your summary books and, and whatever else you need or to keep it and uh, burn it. I don't know, you can do whatever you like with it really, um, but it's there to try and help. So enough from me, let's get started. What am I doing today? Or in this video, well, I'm going to build on what we did before and talk about enlargement and similar figures, right? Well, enlargement means getting bigger. Um, pause the video and have a look over that. I'm not going to keep reading it. You can read. But I'm going to say that it builds on what we did just a moment ago. And by that, I mean, I just recorded a video on congruence. You may have not watched it, but again, it is there on Maths Guru, free to sign up. Um, but there are four rules of congruence. And when two shapes are congruent, they are exactly the same. We can rotate it, we can flip it, but it has to be the same size, right? The length of the lines have to be the same, the size of the angles have to be the same. That's congruence. But then we get to this wonderful thing called similarity. Now, when things are similar, it means the angles inside are exactly the same length or same size, but the lengths are different, but they're different by a certain ratio. Now, what I'm gonna explain here is this. Imagine I've got a rectangle. Now we know the angles inside that rectangle add up to 360 degrees, yes? Let's say that's two and three and two and three. If I was to basically draw another one of those rectangles and have it as two, three, two, three, we would say they were congruent, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to enlarge it. All right, now again, enlargement's a bit of a strange word, but if I now made that four, six, four, six, hopefully you would realize that I've taken each of its sides and I've just doubled it, all right? I have enlarged every single side by two. So two times two is four, three times two is six, two times two is four, three times two is six. But again, it's a rectangle. And a lot of people get very tricked by this. They think, oh, well, if I've made a shape two times bigger, the angles would grow two times bigger. It can't. <laughs> Please don't. Try imagining that your rectangle then has 720 degrees in it. It's not possible to have 720 degrees in it. A rectangle has four right angles. So it's really important to know that your angles do not change in size. All right? Just the side lengths. Now, obviously, if I'd made this seven and seven, then they are no longer similar, all right? Because there is no way to go from two to four, which is times by two, and three to seven. They have to be, every single side has to be multiplied by the same thing to give you what you need to. Now again, if you actually download these notes, all you're gonna be left with is what's behind me at the moment. So it's always a good idea to download them while I'm sort of going through this, and then write all over them in your own words, just so the examples make sense. Now. The language is really important because image and original. When I look into a mirror and see myself, other than being physically sick, because I hate the way I look, like no word of a lie, I look at myself in that corner now and I'm like, <laughs> really not very attractive. So I'm sorry you have to watch me. I could do this without the video, but apparently it makes it even better. Um, but if I look in the mirror, I see my ear image. I am the original. I am seeing an image. In fact, I'm seeing the image in the corner now, but too much information. So when we are doing this, the first thing you've got to make sure you do is label the original and the image. Now, again, in exam questions or questions you do in a textbook, it should be fairly clear which is which. My hope is that we tell you which is which, but again, because I need to know if this is a side length, if I'm given that side length there, and I'm given that side length there, I need to have a mathsy way of being able to work out my enlargement, my scale factor enlargement. Again, if I know, if I say again that's two, and I know that one is six, how do I know 
how to go from two to six. Well, hold on a moment. Probably you've done six divided by two, haven't you? You've taken the equal, the side lengths are the same and done the bigger one divided by the smaller one. Well, I don't like the bigger one divided by the smaller one. I do like image divided by original, right? I like the one you're going to divided by the one you've started with. So again, so if I say that this is my original, let's call it orange, and I say this is my image, and let's say that this is two, and let's make that eight, then I now know that my image is eight. So if I wanted my scale factor, I would do my image length, which is eight, divided by my original length, which is two, which gives me four. So what I should now know is that my shape, because the angles are all the same, all of these side lengths are four times bigger. All right, so that's gonna be really, really important later on.